All right, and now for a game of twin telepathy. All right, ladies, I am okay. going to ask you a series of questions, okay. and I want you to write your answer on your board. Okay. Don't show each other. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I say go, I think um, you'll show what Boards. you yeah show your board, and we'll see if you come up with the same answer. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here and we go. Uh, by the way, we have zero idea what Jessica's going to ask. Yes. We have no we, knowledge. No clue. No, no idea. All right. All right, here okay. we go. Question one. I want you to both think of a color right now and write it on your boards. Should it just be the first color that pops in my yep. head? Okay, because... Hide your board. Okay. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> All right. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. <gasps> What'd you do? Okay, I, I know why. So funny, I know why though. this is why. This is weird. This is weird. So, this is the thing. When we were growing up, nobody could tell us apart. So my mom would always put me in something blue, even if it was just a little oh, brown so or funny. hairy. And Deanna always got put in red. red. Yeah. So this completely so actually weird. does make sense for us. It was the this first is, color. This the first thing I thought head. was blue. I always think blue when I think of colors. Can you grab me a tissue? I thought red, but you know what's weird about that is I, I was thinking though, but yellow is my favorite color. Because I, I said was like, well, that's not my favorite color. It's not my favorite color either. That's so funny. Yeah, it's not my yeah. favorite color. Okay. So that is a twin thing. Right? That's so weird. All right, next one. Okay, Let's for see. the next one, I want you to think of a number between 1 and 10. Oh, should it be the first number? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the first okay. thought that comes to mind. Right. Okay, yeah. Two, three, shut. <laughs> I thought you would pick seven because our, our birthday. Seven. Our birthday is the seven. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know. Well, maybe the ten. I couldn't remember which is the first number that popped in my brain, but I just had a lot of time. Okay. 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 All right. So, all no, right. No twin telepathy there. Do you there. um give numbers personalities? <laughs> you don't. Do you give no, numbers no. personalities? What do you no. Mean? What do you mean? By all that? my numbers have a personality associated with them. Really? Mm -hmm. So what it was ten, ten is like the kind grandpa. <laughs> yes. What made you start that? I like, don't know. When I was little, like numbers always had personalities. Interesting. Six what is, is like a good person? Four is the father, <laughs> who's a good father. What? Three is the woman, and she's not always nice. I've never heard she anybody. She's like the old grandma. <laughs> no. One is an old man. What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> How old Five were you when you started mean, doing that? Is one a baby? Like, oh my goodness. No, because oh, old man. Old man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. What's two? Did you say two? Two's like a grandma. What's seven? Seven? I don't know if I've ever been able to associate a character trait with seven. That's I would think funny. a witch. <laughs> because of like a pointy nose. Okay. Are they and, just, like, the like they have head. feelings associated with them, like ages or genders so when you of used feelings. To do, when you used to do math in school, did you like, when you were writing out your numbers, you're like, hello, old man. Yeah. Kind of. Like, yeah. Hi, friendly. Well, or so I would funny. like I would like if an answer was like three, for instance, because three is mean. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard of that ever. That so yeah. Now um, I'm going to have to ask yeah. some friends. Okay. Well, Anybody else? Okay. Like, is that something? Again, I think put it in I the comments. Only one. Put it in the comments if it is. I think if I've made it this far this. into our video, yeah. um, <laughs> give us some comments. I think I think a lot of number, number okay. sense. Let's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. We, so I want you to think of and pick a simple shape and then draw it on your I board. have so many shapes from Deanna. Deanna. Just, I don't even Deanna. Know. Just, just the first one. Okay. Shape. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Ah! I was I was debating between square <laughs> and circle. Oh, that's I need to go with what I'm thinking, not what I think you're going to do. I know. That's, I think, I think I'm thinking what you're going to do. I'm overthinking it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, I just, now let's just focus on the telepathy part. Okay, so let's give like, ourselves like three seconds. Okay. To and think, then try to write down what we're going to do so, and okay. not just do it fast because I don't have time to read your mind. Yeah, me neither. I know. Okay. Or is it just more like, do no, we pick the same thing? It can't thing. possibly yeah. happen that quickly. I was thinking Bold. it was more like, are you going to come up with the same thing? But maybe you do have to just kind of like channel. Maybe that was like, if it's your favorite. No, let's just, like, let's what's try. Your favorite let's shape? try to send each other the message. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I want you to imagine um, a plate of food, like like a, a plate of your favorite food. Okay. Okay. Let's send it to each other. And then send it to each other. Okay. 
And that was too fast. Oh, I'm only doing my favorite. Like, I'm I didn't have time I to receive did. anything from you. This is my, this is my actual favorite. <laughs> I don't have a favorite food. Well, mine's very standard. Like, okay. Are you Wait. done? No, not yet. Okay. Hold on one second. This is like horribly drawn. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody at home is waiting. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. What, what is yours? Your draft? Spaghetti and meatballs? No, that's Triscuits, grapes, cheddar oh. cheese, peanut butter, jelly, Ooh. and chocolate chips. Chocolate okay. board! It's my daily lunch. <laughs> Spaghetti is by far not my favorite food. <laughs> what? You know, I was trying to receive. I was trying to receive from you. Why do you think my food? Favorite food would be spaghetti. Because we grew up eating it every week. I, I don't eat, know. I, nostalgia. Well, I don't eat it. Nostalgia. But I don't, no. I don't, I can't well, I'll tell you when the last time is I had spaghetti. It's so long ago. Okay. Well, that was our first episode okay. of Twin Telepathy. <laughs> and we're not there yet. No, no. Maybe so next time. We're not there at all. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. But we did learn a really interesting tidbit about DNA. Yeah, we did. I've never heard that before. I think a lot of people do it. I really do. No, I don't do think not. I am the only one. Yeah, people, they do. They do. They, they don't, do. Deanna. They do. Never, ever. Have All right, thought. homework assignment. Okay. How about this week? We in a, we ask 10 different people yes. if they've okay. ever done that, right. and then let's see what results we come back okay. with. Okay. And I'm people gonna are going to look at me like, we have two heads. Same, I think. Okay. But we might be surprised. But I, my uh, follow up question is do you think of letters? No. Only numbers. No, that's a good question. There are too many letters, I think, for me to no. do that way. Because there's 26. 26. 26. 26 is too many. But, yeah. uh, but there's only like <laughs> billions of numbers. But I stop at 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was that a decision that you made, or they just didn't come to you anymore? I don't know. I wonder if they I just like start it. mixing it in. Okay. 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 All right. So anyway, moving just along. along. Yeah. So I just wanted to take a moment and share with you a new plant I added to my collection this week. So cute. So cute. This is called yeah. a string of hearts. Um, and that is because if you get a little close, the leaves are shaped like hearts. And mm -hmm. this plant is part of the succulent fam family. Um, it likes, likes part sun, part shade and water sparingly so you really want to wait for that top layer to dry out before you rewater okay nice. that's cute just a fun one mm -hmm. yeah now how how big will this grow um so it'll now. just keep growing as long as you allow it to um and then as it gets long you can cut it and um propagate it and then oh. as you add yeah. to this pot it'll fill in okay or you okay, can you put it in. and then keep growing repot it, and, it yeah, and repot it and okay. so like that'll be my plan is to propagate it as it gets longer stick it in make it um bushier and then transplant it into a larger part and then over time are these ones that you've already propagated or do they come actually like that? you know i just learned about this plant and it's not one that i see at the stores often so i actually found it on it facebook marketplace so um or for plant enthusiasts enthusiasts or lovers um Sometimes in your local area, there's a lot of people that propagate plants and will sell them. Oh. And so that's how I found this one. I learned, uh, there's a plant app that I've been using. I think it's called Planta. Oh, you have one of the square cases. I see those are very oh, trendy yeah? right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so this is, the app is called Planta. And um, I could take pictures of plants and it'll identify it. And so I did this with another plant I have string of bananas and as I was kind of like learning about that other string mm -hmm. plants popped up and this was one of them and then ironically I was just on Facebook and this popped up on Facebook marketplace and I'm like I gotta have it oh, cool. so yeah so nice. I just bought it from somebody all right guys nice. super area. cute so, yeah Thanks. so I just finished reading Chris and Hannah's new book it's called the women and um, so I don't want to give away too much, obviously, if people haven't read it yet, but I love Chris and Hannah's book. I loved mm -hmm. the one, um, shoot, now I can't remember the titles off the top of my head, but the one where they had out West, uh, the four winds. I haven't read that. Oh, okay. Anyway, the four winds was really great. The great alone where she heads up to Alaska, the main character. Anyway, this one was all based around, um, the, uh, oh my gosh, the Vietnam war. 
So for me, it was super interesting because the Vietnam War ended in 1975. Mm -hmm. And so I heard family talking about it as we were growing up, but we never learned anything about Vietnam mm -hmm. War in school. Yeah, we didn't make it that so far in social studies. So I had to do a lot of Googling about, um, like, what was the war about? Why was the war being fought? And literally had no knowledge of it except for that, that it was very polarizing, especially back in the 70s. Um, and then sentiment obviously changed for the soldiers and things and like some movies and stuff throughout the years. But anyways, the story of the women mm -hmm. who were not soldiers in Vietnam, but they were the nurses in Vietnam mm. oh. and the struggle that one particular girl and her uh, couple of friends had and her experiences deciding to go to war, what mm -hmm. happens when she's in war and then what happens after she gets home. So, um, mm -hmm. and then the feelings of rejection, because a lot of people were like, well, women were not at Vietnam. You, mm -hmm. you can't come to the VA because women weren't there oh. and the struggles that she had oh, wow. trying to advocate for herself. So the book was very informative. Mm -hmm. And so I appreciate that because I'm sure that Chris and Hannah had to do a ton of research, mm -hmm. um, because you don't write a book like that without doing research. So right. I'm figuring that's historically accurate information, obviously it's fiction, but so I learned a lot about Vietnam and then, um, as far as the length goes, it was a little long. I mm -hmm. felt like it could have been shortened up a bit, but if you're interested in that, it's really worth reading. I thought so. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, I read an article in CNN this week and it was a woman who had reviewed Taylor Swift's album mm -hmm. last week. And last week she was saying really negative things about it. Actually, maybe it could have been a man writer. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, and then did an update this week and said that she or he was wrong and had returned the album and liked it more. And you said you have a very similar experience to that. Yeah. So last week I was talking about how, I don't know, sometimes I have to listen to an album a few times. Yep. And so I did. So I was like, no, I need to listen to it more, see like what the vibe is. So I listened to it probably two more times, not mm -hmm. the whole thing, but like parts of the album. And it's, yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Taylor. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. But no. yeah, yeah, you do. And so I have like, I'm like, oh yeah, the song's on. I know the song is a good song. Yep. I agree. I don't know all the lyrics yet. And Jessica, you also, you yeah. listen to more? I listened to it two times all the way through yesterday. And okay. I agree. There's like so many songs that I enjoy and I just think it was just a matter of listening to it, getting a feel for the vibe and yeah, I recommend it. What were some of the favorite songs? Yeah, you I said totally so um, sure. I really like Fortnite. I like mm -hmm. I'm Gonna Get You. I like Thank You Amy. Um, there's another one, but like off the top of my head, I'm forgetting it, but there's a bunch on there that I really enjoy. So yeah, yeah. yeah nice yeah. job, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to listen to it again too then. Then on yeah. the news, um, I sent some Grammys coming your way. Yeah, there we go. It's true. No, it was on actually um, iTunes. I was just trying to like browse a different station later on in the day after I listened to it. And it was like Taylor Radio, it came up. And um, so they were just kind of like talking about the new album and that basically Taylor is like the music industry. She can do whatever she wants. I don't know mm -hmm. if I fully agree with that, but she, mm -hmm. she, she is at the point where she can do whatever she wants. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Likey and subscribe. Bye. Bye.